Hey there Bixby developers, Jonathan Pan here, and today I'll be demonstrating how to use config and secrets in your capsule. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use configs, which are good for storing URLs and other key value pairs that you'd like to access in multiple places in your capsule. There are two places that you can set the configs, and one is in the capsule.properties file, and the other is in the developer center. The second thing I wanted to demonstrate is how to use the secrets, and these are good to store sensitive information such as API keys. And secrets are set in the developer center. Starting off with the config.properties file, this file usually lives in the resources slash base folder of your capsule. And this is the syntax to utilize the config that you set in your capsule.properties file. And this is also how you would use the config in the developer center configurations as well. Speaking of developer center configurations, you just go to your developer center and then to your capsule, and then you can set your key value pairs like this. And then you can access them like this in the previous slide. Now, settings in the developer center supersede the settings in the config.properties file, so do keep that in mind. And also there is a development and production portion in the developer center. So be sure to set both your development and production environments. As for secrets, you can only set them in the developer center. And in order to access your secrets, this is the syntax to do so. And we're actually going to go through this in a demo capsule that I built. So here I have a capsule that gives you a random baby name from various years. In 1953, there were 25,513 baby boys named Kenna. And in the JavaScript, we can see that this is not really an optimal situation. Here we have the URL hard-coded, and it would be nice to actually move it somewhere so we can access it through different parts of the project. And also, we shouldn't really leave our API key right here hard-coded in the JavaScript. So first, let's move this to our capsules.properties file. And we're going to start by moving the URL there. Let's just cut that out right now. And right here under resources, base, just right click new capsule properties file and click create. And here we're going to want to uncomment this line and then just replace all of this as URL and just paste it right there. Clean it up by deleting all those extra lines and save it. And in here, all we have to do is var config equals require config. And then we can have our URL be the config.git URL. And this is getting the URL that we set right here. So next, let's just pop this right there, and it should work. But it's still working and it's pulling the URL now from the config. But next, let's actually move this into the developer center. From BixbyDevelopers.com, just click on Developer Console. And once you're here, if you haven't created your capsule yet, just register it and then set the name of your capsule and the capsule to be whatever you named this. So, for example, baby names, you'd want to do this in your capsule.bxb file. But since I've already created it, just click on it. And over here in settings, click on configuration and secrets. And this is where you can set your various variables for your config. So let's click add URL and just paste the URL right there and click save and apply. And now our capsule will actually be pulling the URL from the developer center instead of this file. Let's comment this out and try it again. We can see that it's still working. So now it's pulling it from the developer center. Now let's also do that for the API key as well. We're going to cut this out and we're going to add this to our secrets. Just like that, 
and click Save and Apply. Here, we can import secret, just like we did for config, and there is a typo. And now we can just pull the API key from our developer center like this. And now we can just simply replace the old API key with this, and now it should still work. There we go, 14,429 baby boys named Todd. So now that we know how to do this for development, we can do the same thing for production and add our keys here as well. Now make sure before deploying your capsule that you have the proper URLs for development and for production accordingly. Now for my simple capsule, it's using the same URL and API key as, you know, whether it's development or production. But for your project, that may differ. And one big benefit to this is that now you can access this URL anywhere in your project simply by importing those two lines of code right here. And you just change it in one place in the developer center and all the developers working on your capsule can access it. Same with the API key as well. This way, it's very easy to collaborate with different people working on the same capsule, and they will all be utilizing the same configurations and the same secrets. So yeah, there you go. A quick tutorial on how to utilize configurations and secrets for your Bixby capsule. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And yeah, that's it.